but I will establish my covenant with you. Need to do something like you that our father like that God, God is all knowing. That means He knows everything. He went he knows ahead. Everything. He, he knows tomorrow. And all right. Like I'm so silly. silly. Like you're, you're so silly out. Like you're so. Guess a, what? You know you just made all the same. Right. So and never went feel pressure. Yeah. Welcome back to the Solid Rock Children's Church, boys and girls. How are you doing? Do you have your Christmas tree up yet? Do you have your Christmas decoration? Did you help mom and dad, you know, with those decorations? I know you love doing that. I have no doubt that you, you know, you're all set up at this stage. Well, today we have a lesson that relates to Christmas. Yay. Yes. But before then, we're going to have a worship time. Remember, we'll have a quiz. We'll have a lesson. And then we'll have the assignment. Boys and girls, don't miss out. Because we have lots of gifts coming to Christmas. So make sure that you do your assignment so that you can get, you know, you can partake in taking all the gifts, you know, that we already prepared for the boys and girls that will answer the question correctly. So boys and girls, I will see you at the lesson. God bless you and see you soon. And now we go into a time of worship.
And now we go to our memory verse for today. Please pay attention. Hello, everybody. Hello, my party. Today we're going to be reading another Bible verse, which is coming from Luke chapter 1, 30 to 33. And I read, But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him a throne of his father David. He will, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. Thank you guys for watching, and I will hope I'll see you guys again, which is tomorrow. Bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye, everybody. Now it's time for the lesson for the week. Please listen carefully. The story of Christmas, Mary and Joseph. This is Mary. Hi! You see, Mary was the mother of Jesus, but before that happened, she lived in the town of Nazareth. Mary had no children because she lived according to God's law and had never been married. Oops. But she was engaged to marry a man named Joseph. Hey, -oh. Hi, Joseph! One day, an angel came to Mary and said, Hi. Ah! That God had chosen Mary. The angel said, God is with you. But Mary was afraid and confused. Huh? She wondered what the angel was talking about. Then the angel said, Don't be afraid. God loves you and wants to use you in a great way. Uh, me? You will give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be very great, and he will be the king forever. Uh, hold on. Mary asked, But how can this happen? For she was not married yet and knew that she couldn't have a child until she was married. But the angel told Mary that the Holy Spirit would make her pregnant. Wow so that the baby born will be holy and will be called the Son of God. Wow! The angel reminded her that nothing is impossible with God. Eh, okay, let's do this! So Mary decided to trust God and all that he had planned for her. Before their wedding, Joseph found out that Mary was pregnant. Wait, what? He thought she had done something wrong. Uh. But Joseph was a man of God and decided to break off the engagement quietly so no one around town would think badly of Mary. While Joseph was thinking about all this, an angel appeared to him in a dream. Oh, uh, hi? The angel said, Joseph, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife. Uh, what? The angel explained that Mary's baby was from God. Wait, what? The angel told Joseph that the baby's name would be Jesus, and he would save his people from their sins. Oh, wow. And when Joseph woke up, he did as the angel told him. Uh, hi. You ready? Really? Yeah! And took Mary as his wife while she was still pregnant with the Son of God. And so Joseph and Mary trusted in God, and the two followed the plan that God had given them to help bring the Savior into the world. Welcome back, boys and girls. I don't have a doubt in my heart that you enjoyed the lesson. Um, remember, I was actually giving you a clue of what the lesson was going to be about. And I said it was going to be about Christmas. See, because Mary chose to obey God, God used her. And through her, Jesus was born. Obedience is one thing that us as, as, as children of God have to learn. Because we never know when God is going to do great things through us when we choose to obey him. If Mary didn't obey, God was still going to use somebody else because he wanted to give us the gift of salvation and he would have done it any, anyway. 
But because Mary chose to obey, she is called blessed today. So boys and girls, even though Mary had her plans, she was about to get married. She, I'm sure she, they had lots of plans, you know, in herself and Joseph had lots of plans for their lives. But they, you know, chose to just obey God. And you know what I found as well? Joseph, because in those days, if you're not married, and then the, the woman get, you know, is pregnant, is a disgrace. It is not something that was popular. It was, you know, people see it, you know, it, it's, it's a shameful thing, you know. But do you know what? Joseph, even out, despite the fact that he knew he was not responsible for the pregnancy, still chose to be kind you know he was going to let mary have that child and probably just walk away but he was not gonna you know make it known to everybody that he was not the father of the child so both of them actually obey god and god you know did great and mighty thing through them through them we have the gift of salvation through them we are saved so boys and girls, this has taught us that we have to be to obey God. That's the first thing. And the second thing is that we have to be kind. Even when something does not go our way or when somebody does something that is not what we plan, we can still show kindness, you know, as children of God. So boys and girls, I pray that you are blessed and I hope you have a lovely Christmas with your family and a lovely new year hello 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 it's time for yet another quiz i hope you are ready for the quiz okay number one mary the mother of jesus went to visit her relative elizabeth while they were both pregnant who did elizabeth's son grow up to be a john the baptist B. Matthew the disciple. C. Paul the apostle. Or D. Peter the disciple. The answer was A. Number two. What did Elizabeth say to Mary during their visit? A. Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, because he has come and has redeemed his people. B. The mighty one has done great things for you and holy is his name. C. Do not be afraid Mary for you have found favour with God. D. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb. The answer was D. Number three, what was miraculous about Elizabeth's pregnancy? A, the angel Gabriel watched over mother and baby the entire time. B, the angel Michael watched over mother and baby the entire time. C, she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. D, she conceived despite being barren and advanced in age. The answer was C. And the last question for the quiz, number four. What was miraculous about Mary's pregnancy? A. The angel Gabriel watched over mother and baby the entire time. B. The angel Michael watched over mother and baby the entire time. C. She conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. D. She conceived despite being barren and advanced in age. The answer was C. Now for the home quiz. Remember, the first correct answer in gets a gift in church. So ask your parents to use the email address of the church, kidszone at solidrockdoblin.org to submit your answer. Here are the questions. 
So first you have to read Luke chapter 1 and then match the answers to the questions. So I'll read out the questions. Questions. To which city did God send his angel to visit Mary? Number two. In what month of Elizabeth's pregnancy did the angel visit Mary? Number three. Who was the angel who visited Mary? Number four. To which man did Mary get engaged? Number five. What did the angel first say to Mary when he saw her? Number six. How did Mary react when she saw the angel? Number seven. What message did the angel give Mary? Number eight. Which name did the angel tell Mary to name the child? Number eight. Why was Mary surprised at what the angel told her? And last question. How did the angel tell Mary she would have a child? So these are the possible answers which you should match to the questions that we just went over. Number one, she was a virgin. Two, she will get pregnant and give birth to the Son of God. Three, six. Four, Yeshua. Five, greetings, O favored one. God is with you. Six, she was troubled and afraid. Seven, Gabriel. Eight, Joseph. Nine, Nazareth. Ten, through the power of the Holy Spirit. So, you match these answers to the questions, reading Luke 1 to get the oversight, and then send your answers in by email to kidszone at solidrockdoublin.org. All right. to do something like you that are like God, that's God. God. he's all knowing that means he knows everything he went he knows ahead everything he, he knows tomorrow an art like I'm so telling silly you like you're, you're so seen out like you're so guess a, what you know you're just made all the same right so and never went, feel pressure to do the wrong thing never feel like you have to follow others never feel To do something like you that are God, like that's God. God. He's all knowing. That means He knows everything. He went he ahead. Everything and he, he knows knew. tomorrow. And art. Like I'm, I'm so silly. silly. Like you're, you're so seen out. Like you're so but guess what? You know you're just made all the same, right? So I never feel guess to do the wrong thing. Never feel like you have to follow others. Never feel.